All right, a few of you guys have been bird dog in locks for me, and I really appreciate it. It helps me find some interesting stuff, but this one also happens to be from my favorite Bulgarian lock dealer on eBay. So uh, you guys are watching this guy. Every time he lists an interesting lock, you grab it, or at least you point it out to me. Uh, if I can afford it, I'll certainly grab it. The shipping on these is a killer, though. 15 bucks. This guy lives right outside of Sofia for to ship a $12 lock. So almost 30 bucks invested in him. But it was worth it. Uh, solid body metal. It is a dimple lock. That's what makes it interesting. I don't get uh, much of a chance to play with these here in North America. Here's what your key looks like. And I don't know if it's true, but that Bulgarian lock dealer, every time I get a lock from him, he's got some kind of hinky pinning. And this is no different. We got some very, very high cut pins hiding in the back behind these extremely low cut. So two soldiers in the front protecting those three guys in the back. Promises to be a little bit of a challenge to reach back inside of there. It works beautifully. I just checked it, 45 degrees, and it pops right open. What I will tell you, let me move that out so I can get this thing to focus, there are spring-loaded locking pawls in both sides of this, so it is a shimmable lock, particularly when you have gaps like that in the top of it. I'm not going to shim it, but it's so obvious that that is a very quick way in. But this is about picking... This thing came all the way in from Bulgaria. I'm not going to humiliate it with a quick shimming job. Instead, we're going to try to pick it. All right, a uh, very wide open keyway, uh, which I really wouldn't have expected, but it makes it interesting for a challenge or for a uh, training lock. I'm going to tension it from the right, which is really wide open. I'm, I'm going to grab my thickest tensioner over there, see if it'll work. And then I'll pick from the bottom left-hand corner up around that tiny piece of warding right there. So let's first... Try to find, try this guy. He might be a little bit thicker. And this is the thickest one in the kit. Let me flip him over. See if that, will, if that won't even fit in there. So let's try with the tapered end. And that's about as good as it gets, but there's still a little flop in it. So if there's any security pins like spools or mushrooms, I'm going to have a little bit of a difficult time. All right, when we have something like this, I want to fit the flattest uh, pick I can get in there, particularly since I've got to get around there, and because I've seen the pinning. But I would do it even without seeing the pinning. I would always assume something like this. But if you've got a very curvy flag with a lot of curve, a lot of hook in it, you're going to have trouble getting past those two soldiers in the front. So the center one here is my flat flag. I'm going to go one to the left, which is the next curved one, but... Not quite, not quite flat, but close to it. And let's just check and see if he's going to work. So I'll put him in the corner, and what I do is I just rotate him around that warding just to make sure he gets and can reach the very top. And it looks like he's going to be able to do it. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, I'm going to apply moderate tension. Slide this guy back until I hit a speed bump. He goes right under pin one and hits pin two. Okay, I felt a little give, and the pick started on its voyage to the back. Again, I hit pin four, work my way under him, little click, five is springy, three, little click, one is solid, two is good, feels like five. And there we go. Let me get my pick out. Just jiggling back and forth and you ought to come out. And there we go. No security pins in this guy at all. Kind of a surprise. I have a metal shutter lock, which is just absolutely full of spool pins or uh, mushroom pins. I really don't know which. I've never cut them open. Quite a bit more of a challenge than this little padlock. Anyway, guys, again, I appreciate you guys bird dogging interesting locks. And if I can afford them, I will certainly grab them and see if I can pick them on camera. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal.